The Winter Olympics are finally here, and this year is a really special one because it's allowing females to do one of the coolest winter sports, ski jumping. Now, unless you're already a pro ski jumper or you're an Olympic aficionado, you may not have any idea of the science involved in these sports. So I did a bit of research to show you the basics. First, let's imagine you have a nice little hill like this. The ramp is built on top of it with a steep angle of about 35 degrees. That's really steep, and that allows the jumpers to gain speeds of about 90 kilometers an hour when they take off. And contrary to popular belief, at the end of the ramp there is no lip because if there was, it would send the skiers on an incredibly wild and dangerous ride. Instead, the angle of the takeoff is actually negative 11 degrees. From here, the ski jumper leaps up and starts flying into the air. But remember, if he's too tall, there's a ton of drag created on him from the oncoming wind, and he won't go very far. Therefore, he needs to set up his angle of attack by leaning forward, which reduces the drag on him. They're also trying to fly and glide through the air by forming a V-shape with their skis. Okay, now hills. They come in different sizes. The normal hills are in the 90 meter range, while the large hills are in the 120 meter range. Of course, there is an important element to understand. 90 meters doesn't refer to how tall the hill is. It's actually a measurement of the hill from the ramp to the point at which the slope starts to level out. And somewhere close to that point is a line called the K-line which is somewhat similar to aiming for a par in golf. It's how you get scored, and it's what the jumpers are aiming to get past. You see, if the jumper lands on the K-line, he gets some points, for instance, 60. But every meter under the K-point, he gets a few less points. And for every meter above the K-point, he gets a few more points. And for those daring out there, you might like to know, there are also ski flying hills in the 200 plus meter range. In fact, the world record for the longest ski jump was 246.5 meters. Hey, check out the next Olympic video at Untamed Science where Rob talks about the variables of ski flying, in particular how ski jumpers use the wind. It's totally an awesome video. And remember, these are all part of a giant Olympics playlist. Click here to start from the beginning. Also, subscribe to get new videos directly in your inbox.